Dr. Tanya, you run a sexual and reproductive health channel on Instagram. You also create content around women's health. Do you think somewhere women are lacking in taking their decisions? Do you think women are more vulnerable? Are they in a position to actually negotiate safe sex? Can they ever say no? There is a lot of things that do go wrong when women make the choice, unfortunately. You know, we're still uh, progressing forward. We're still going ahead in terms of women having any autonomy at all over their bodies, over their lives. So uh, realistically, there are certain stratas of society where absolutely women are able to make the choice and they're pushing forward. And hopefully I see it happening in other stratas of society soon too, with more education and more communication about these issues. Dr. Tanya, there are around 24 lakh people estimated to be living with HIV in India in 2021. Around 63,000 new HIV infections continue to be estimated annually as of 2021, which means that over 6 lakh new HIV infections occurred cumulatively over the last 10 years, which could have been prevented. Most of the infections are happening due to unsafe sex practices. What do you think? Is it that the use of condoms are low? Is condom usage or talking about condoms still a taboo? Uh, absolutely. I feel like um, there is unfortunately a lot of resistance to condom use because of a couple of different reasons. And unfortunately, people don't are not educated in how condoms should be used correctly. Because if condoms are used correctly, there's like a 98% chance of you know not getting pregnant and of course reducing your STIs. Um, yes. With using condoms, um, you you reduce your dramatically, you cut down your risk of having STIs. But unfortunately, we don't really know how to use them. So often people won't put it on correctly. So often um, people put it on just before penetration when, you know, genital contact has already happened. So the fluids have already been exchanged, so to speak, um, which is why even when there is use, it's not perfect use, which, you know, creates a lot of problems. Before we wrap up, uh, Dr. Tare, I would like to ask you, there are so many myths, misconceptions, uh, you know, regarding HIV and AIDS. Can you help bust some of those for us? There are more and more cases of people being cured of AIDS now. Uh, yeah. more, and more, uh, more and more scientific revolutions are happening. So uh, it's not a death sentence anymore. That's the first thing I want to get uh, start with. Mm -hmm. There are ways to manage it. There are ways to ensure good quality of life. There are ways to, you know, stay healthy and alive for a long, long time, even if you have been diagnosed with HIV. Yeah. The second thing is HIV does not mean AIDS. Um, this is a very important difference and we all kind of get confused ki, you know, usko AIDS lag gaya hai. And you actually what you catch is HIV. So um, HIV is the virus which leads to, over a long time, it can lead to the condition of AIDS. Um, we can think of it like uh, coronavirus is the virus and the disease it causes is COVID. Of course, you know, when once you catch coronavirus, you get COVID sort of immediately after. Uh, that's not the same with HIV and AIDS. It takes a very long time for it to develop. And there are multiple medications that can stop or prevent the conversion of HIV into AIDS. Uh, 